Start record. I don't know if this has been done before, but I believe I'm making YouTube history. It's the first time the same video has been filmed that I know of from two different sources at the same time, placed on two different channels at the same time. One's dark, one's light. The moral of the story is I'm going to start putting people in YouTube jail. And I know this is like the fourth video of me telling people that I'm going to put them in YouTube jail. I jailed a few people earlier on the original three episodes, but the original three episodes of YouTube jail, I tried to put them in my favorites on YouTube jail and they vanished, they disappeared. Either they were too controversial to start with, or they were just too controversial to begin with. How can I say the same thing twice and not mean anything? Well, it's simple. Late at night, I'm tired. I'm on a special mission. A special mission to find out who destroyed the Midnight Rider. A special mission to find out and jail the people who took down Midnight Rider. Now, a lot of people don't understand who the Midnight Rider is. I know who the Midnight Rider was. And I'm looking for the Midnight Rider. I'm going to save the Midnight Rider. I can't pull him out of the jungles of Costa Rica where they got him held captive. Then, fuck it, I fail. But I tried to bring back somebody who made me think differently about YouTube. I've tried to bring back people who have made me want to continue with YouTube. My fight and my struggle with this YouTube thing is tremendous. People don't understand me. People criticize me. And people act as if they want me dead. I commented on Independent Brother. And the video went worldwide. Scared me. Death threats and hate messages. I pulled the video. And now I feel the same drama. And people like to dwell on bullshit. People like to dwell on bullshit. And the only reason I'm filming this shit on YouTube jail is because every single person that gave me a faulty ass reply called me pedophile. Petty-file. I got some foul shit to say about you. I don't care if it's your 13 year old daughter's motherfucking page that you commented on. I'm gonna say some foul shit. YouTube jail is not gonna be for the weak. And I'm trying to prepare people for something they've never seen me do. All out negativity. Oh, better yet, because it's new, you new to this is YouTube. All out negativity. Only one of my people stood up and told me I was wrong, but then confirmed everything I said. Only one of you. 
That was Father Judgment. You're wrong about the dress. Then he went on to tell how the dress would be appropriate in this situation, this situation, this situation, this situation. That's what I was looking at the dress as. I was looking at the dress as a, a swimsuit, uh, club dress, you know, fashion model type shit, artist singing in a concert type shit. That's all I said was the dress was cute. The dress is cute. It dresses cute for every genre but the prom. But I didn't say that in the video. I said accommodate the young person. Tell them to cover up. Got my microphone for YouTube jail. I said cover up cover up and I have no problem letting you in and it hurts me to be a human being to be an individual and for somebody to have the audacity to call this young lady a whore tramp slut prostitute bitch ghetto whore ghetto tramp it hurts me. Why in the fuck do you think I yelled with a Sergeant Willie Pete for two fucking weeks straight about how you should uplift people? And I'm dwelling on a subject because my feelings are hurt. I'm a human being, folks. I'm not a TV star with money. I don't have no big money contracts. Chris Crocker can get on YouTube and cry. Leave Britney Spears alone. And get a paycheck big like this. The boy got a paycheck so fat he could stand up next to it and it still be two feet taller than him. Someone said, I'm just an opportunist trying to capitalize on this young girl's pain from the prom. You're the ones calling her a whore. You're the ones calling her a tramp. You're the ones calling her a prostitute. You're the ones saying she's going to go out after the prom and get laid because look how she's dressed. But if anybody said those same things about your daughter, you try to shut YouTube down. If anybody said those same things about your child, you try to shut YouTube down. Am I going to leave that page behind? Yes. I am leaving the real AIX because of the bullshit. I'm going to start making comedy videos. I'm going to open up my music video thing. Broke Man Studio, which is already open. I'm going to open up the real Lonzo Lover, which should already be up there, but I have no pictures there. I still have to deal with the Sonoma County Fairgrounds page I have. I'm leaving the real AIX. You will find me at YouTube Jail now. I'm the warden at YouTube jail. And all those people who had foul things to say about me, you better not have any videos on your page. Because come tomorrow, I'm going bad. And I won't be able to control myself. For the people who believe in me and that know that I will be back, in a certain time, when I get a certain numbers, you have been tubed. To the people over at YouTube Jail, 